The immune system is a highly sophisticated system of biological structures and processes that protects our bodies against disease. To function properly, it needs to detect a wide variety of pathogens, everything from viruses to parasitic worms, and then distinguish enemy agents from the body's own healthy tissue. Research has shown that individuals who partake in regular exercise are much less likely to get sick and have better functioning immune systems in general. However, too much exercise can actually have the opposite effect, causing your body to become run down and less likely to recover from an illness. A moderate amount of exercise each week increases the expression of white blood cells called microphages. These cells are especially crucial in a person's recovery from respiratory tract infections, and evidence exists that during exercise, these cells circulate faster through the body, scooping up harmful bacteria and viruses along the way. Exercise also blunts the release of stress hormones, which increase the likelihood of developing infections common in our environment. Exercise diminishes stress hormones by promoting the release of endorphins and mood and health enhancing natural hormones. Interestingly, the rise in body temperature that occurs following an exercise session can mimic the environment a fever creates when the body is fighting infections. Coupled with the increased flow of white blood cells, recovery is typically hastened. On the other hand, too much exercise increases your susceptibility to infection and illness. Research has shown that athletes who train more than 90 minutes per session, incorporate many high-intensity movements, or train multiple times a day are at an increased risk of becoming ill. This occurs because the levels of stress hormones outweigh the effects of beneficial health-promoting hormones, resulting in a state of chronic inflammation. The period of susceptibility is typically three days following a workout. For best results in boosting immunity, limit moderate intensity workouts to no more than 60 minutes. You can exercise when you have an illness above the chest, like a cold, but do not exercise when you have a full body illness that includes vomiting or body aches, as your immune system is already taxed and cannot handle the burden of further recovery. Make sure to have ample recovery time between heavy workload workouts and apply periods of active and passive recovery. In active recovery, you still work out, but back away from the intensity by using slower forms of exercise. For example, if you run marathons, active recovery would involve walking or playing a favorite sport, such as tennis, to allow the body to recover from the intense activity or muscle soreness. On the other hand, Passive recovery means no exercise at all. Instead, rest, massages, and heat and ice therapy. Both aspects are important for a well-functioning immune system. Exercise is an important tool to optimizing your health. However, the key to harnessing its benefits is to strike a balance between too little and too much and knowing when to back off.